Struggling to make sense of academic papers? All those equations, technical terms, endless references? Well, what if there was a tool that could break it all down and actually talk to your research like a human? Meet SciSpace, your personal AI-powered research assistant. It lets you chat directly with your PDFs, ask questions about figures, formulas, or references, and get contextual, cited answers instantly. Not just that, you can automate literature reviews with the deep review feature, turn complex text into simple explanations, generate perfect citations in seconds, even transform dense papers into engaging videos, ready to share with the world. This isn't just another academic tool, it's a research game changer. Want to try it yourself? The link to SciSpace is waiting for you below. Check the description. Okay. On the screen right now, you can see the homepage interface of SciSpace. And to register for an account, you just need to click on the Sign Up button, located at the bottom left corner of the screen. Now, you can see there are two ways to register. First, by using your Google account. Second, by using your email address. And to make it simple, I'll register with a Google account. All right, so I've successfully created an account. Now, take a look at the left-hand side. That's the menu bar of the software. These are the main features of SciSpace. There are quite a lot of them, but here I'll introduce to you just a few of the key ones. The first one you can see here is the literature review feature. In this section, we can search for research papers related to the topic we're studying. For example, you can type your research topic right here. Since I'm just demoing for you, I'll pick one of the suggested topics from the software. Let's try this one. After you enter the topic, the software will gather and summarize papers related to it. At the top, you'll see a summary of the top five papers. Yes. And if you want summaries from more papers, for example, the top 10, then you'll need the paid version. By default, it will only summarize content from the top five papers. Here, you can also click See More to expand the summary section. And notice, the papers that were used for summarization are all cited right below. These are the sources being referenced. Scrolling down, you'll see a full list of all papers related to the topic. In this example, there are 100 related papers that the software found for us. You can scroll through them. And if you want even more, Simply click Load More Papers. Now, on top of that, you'll see some filters to refine the paper list. For example, you can filter only papers with PDF files, or filter only open access papers that are freely available, or papers that are trending or most cited. And if you want even deeper filters, just click on More Filters, where you'll find extra options. On the right hand side, you'll see, by default, the Insights column. If you want to add more details, you can enable them here. For example, you can add results to see the findings of each paper or check the methods used to know how the research was conducted. There are many more columns you can add for extra information. Now, for each individual paper, there are some actions you can take. For instance, you can check the box in front of a paper's title. After selecting it, you can either find similar papers by clicking similar paper, or you can even chat directly with the paper. Yes, let me show you. If I click similar paper, the software will find related studies. And if I want, I can start a chat session with the paper. There are even some sample questions ready, or you can ask your own research questions directly. On the top right, you can also change the display language by clicking the globe icon. There are many languages available here. So, that's the first feature. Now let's move on to the second one, Chat with PDF. In this feature, you can upload any PDF research paper and then directly chat with it to explore its contents. For example, I'll upload a PDF by clicking Upload PDF. Done. Here's the interface. Now you can start chatting and asking questions to analyze the paper in detail. Next, we have the AI Writer feature. This allows us to write academic papers with the help of AI. 
There are two options, choose from a template or start with a blank page. If I choose a template, you'll see quite a number of pre-made structures to guide your writing. Otherwise, I can just click Start Writing to begin from scratch. The interface looks just like a normal text editor, but the difference is you can call on AI support to help you write more efficiently. For example, clicking Start Writing with AI lets you enter your topic, then AI generates an outline for your paper. In addition, there are more AI tools to assist you. For instance, typing a slash brings up quick writing tools, and typing at allows you to insert citations directly. Back to the home page, we also have a feature called Find Topics. This is very useful if you don't yet have a specific research subject. The software will suggest subtopics based on a broader field you input. For example, I'll pick one of the software suggestions, and immediately it generates multiple related subtopics. Each subtopic may also come with associated papers. Some have one paper, some have three, and some are still new without papers yet. This is really helpful for discovering new research directions. Another feature is paraphrasing. Here, you can paste in a text and ask AI to rewrite it in a different way. You can adjust the style, fluent, formal, creative, and so on. You can also set the length, short, medium, or long, and even control how much the text should be altered. After you click paraphrase, the software generates a rewritten version instantly. And finally, the citation generator. This lets AI automatically create proper citations. You just need to input details like title, author, publication date, page numbers, DOI, or even a link. Let me use a sample provided by the software. Once I enter the details and click Cite, it instantly generates the reference. And not only that, you can switch between multiple citation styles, such as APA, MLA, Chicago, and more. Simply select the style you need, and the reference will be reformatted accordingly. And that's a quick walkthrough of the main features of SciSpace. So, if you're tired of wasting hours trying to decode academic jargon, or you just want a smarter, faster way to handle your research, SciSpace might be the only tool you need. With AI features for reading, explaining, citing, paraphrasing, and even creating video content from PDFs, this tool is built for students, researchers, and curious minds who want to understand more and stress less. Click the link in the description to explore SciSpace now and see how much time you can save. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon 